Hello everyone, today we will be going over this, a 3D printed door lock. Before you start an engineering project, it's important to know the process. So it looks very complicated. However, most of these steps will be completed very easily in a successful project. The first step is to define the problem. My door doesn't have a lock on it. So whenever I get a huge assignment from school, I feel like everybody's in my room. For this project, background research and specify requirements were easy enough. All I had to do was go online and figure out how doors work and measure the dimensions of my door. I started brainstorming ideas by further defining what the lock would do. It must prevent the door from going up and from going down and be small enough to fit on the door. After brainstorming ideas, I came up with this, my very first prototype. It basically slides onto the door and this bolt locks it in place. It took a while for me to get the measurements all correct because I only had this ruler to dimension everything. Basically, I printed two parts, one that would slide onto the door handle and the other that would brace the latch in place. However, as I tested it, this knob constantly broke off and there's a huge crack right through the center of this. Now, I tried several times to reprint it and increase the density of the print but that didn't seem to do much. And while I was trying to make a video of this lock, maybe a year ago, it broke right before my eyes. And well, it was not good. But don't think that's it. Engineers are problem solvers. So the engineering method has a built-in loop in the system. I went back to the drawing board and thought of what pros and cons there were about the last design. Obviously, I needed more contact with the handle, so I decided to make the door handle in Fusion 360 and build off of that. With better tools comes better builds, so I went and used my new caliper and 3D printer to make this. Now on first glance, it doesn't look like a lot, and you're right, it's way too thin. So I went back and changed the dimensions and boom, I have a real functioning lock. This is a solid functioning lock. It slides right over the door handle for maximum contact. And it's only one part, so there's no hassle of putting two parts together. This is an end cap for it, which just slides over it to prevent it from slipping off which is kind of unnecessary for how strong this lock is. Just watch. Yeah, nobody's getting in with this on. And the last step is what I'm doing right now, communicating my results. Thank you so much for watching. And if you are taking an engineering class or a STEM class, know that all problems have solution. If you work hard, take your time and have fun. There's also a website in the description that goes over the engineering method in more depth. Thanks again for watching and I will see you next time.